Hi everyone, I'm Peggy Kay, and today I'm going to show you how to download a backup of your Twitter data. You may have noticed that Twitter is a little bit chaotic at the moment. So if your tweets or videos or images you've shared there are important to you, now's a good time to download an archive. It's really easy to create an archive of your Twitter data to download. First, sign into Twitter, and on the left menu, click More, and select Settings and Support. Then select Settings and Privacy. Click Your Account, then Download an Archive of your data. Note that you can create your archive either on desktop or in the official Twitter app. After you click Download an Archive of your data, you'll be prompted to sign in again. Then, under Twitter data, click Request Archive. It may take 24 hours or longer for your archive to be created. When I last downloaded my Twitter data, it took about 36 hours. When the archive of your Twitter data is ready, you'll get a Twitter notification and an email. Note that if you're active on Twitter, your archive may be too big to download on your mobile device, so you'll have to do it on a desktop computer. To download the archive of your data, just return to the Download an Archive of Your Data page and click Download Archive. Your archive will be in a zip file. On almost every operating system, all you need to do is to double click that to open it. When you do that, you'll see that there are three items. The first is a folder called data, and that includes all of your data. The second is a folder called assets, which has things like icons and fonts. And then there is a Your Archive HTML file. The easiest way to review your data is by double-clicking the Archive HTML file in your favorite browser. What you'll see is an overview of your data. As it notes, the information shown on that page is not all of the data from your archive you can open the data folder to access the additional data. There's also an explanation for each piece of data found in the README file. When you open your treats, what you'll see is a page that looks very much like Twitter, which will let you browse through all of your tweets and the images that you've shared. You can choose to show only the media or only the text, and you can also change the sort order from newest first to oldest first to see your very first tweet. So that's it. That's how you make an archive of your Twitter data. I do want to note that there are some significant limitations to the data in the archive. Any links in your tweets, including to external sites or links to quoted tweets, are only included as a t.co short URL. If you click it now, it will redirect to the link you shared. But if for some reason Twitter stops redirecting those links, they will end up losing any meaning. If you try to access the list of accounts that you have either blocked or muted, all you see is a link to view the list on Twitter, which again is fine as long as that list is still available on Twitter at that link. You can find the lists of your followers and the accounts that you're following in the data folder. However, those are listed only by, however, those are only listed by the account ID. No handles or names are included. 
So once again, those are only useful as long as those links still work. And finally, for whatever reason, the images and videos that are in your archive are at a lower resolution than what you originally uploaded. So while all your data is there, it's not exactly the same as what you see on Twitter. And if Twitter stops existing or changes the way it manages those links, the data won't be very useful. There are some people who are creating scripts that can parse the data in your Twitter archive to convert it into something that's more useful. I'm collecting some links to those in my post on my blog, and there's a link to that in the video description. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, post in the comments.